hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl Sella back with another video today okay and for today's video we're playing with color we're getting all into our makeup palette so whatever makeup palette you have that's sitting around that is colorful go ahead and bust it out okay because that's what we're going to be dipping into today i've gotten super inspired recently during this quarantine that we've been in and TikTok has been my new uh, go-to app. <laughs> so recently I was on there and I saw a makeup artist by the name of Makeup by Michaela, and she did a super pretty purple eye. It was like purpley and pink and glowy and just, it was so good. I had to come and recreate it for you guys today. Now, honestly, this is the first time that I'm doing it. Okay, first attempt and I'm doing it on camera let's hope this goes good okay whatever palettes you have around your house that have purple or pink uh pink colors purple shades whatever go ahead and grab that because you'll be needing that for today's video or later on if you're watching this later on you know whatever well, i'm gonna be picking up the new volume 2 jaclyn hill palette i've recently bought this palette because i mean why not we're in quarantine you know like what else are we gonna do and i got super inspired by this palette and look at the beautiful just like purples that are in like this section the pink of the purples i love this and i so got inspired by this she didn't even use this palette uh, on the tutorial she used a different one but this just goes to show whatever you have laying around the house that is pink like i said pink purple tone go ahead and grab those and let's get in today's video okay let's go we're gonna be starting off with our brows actually is that what we want to do today yeah because this is an eyeshadow look and um because because our main focus is on the eyes i really do want to give it as much room if there's any fallout any of that like we're going harder than paint today okay y'all so be ready for some fallout i mean whatever okay so we're gonna start with our eyebrows Now that we have our eyebrows on, I know I look kind of crazy. I'm not done yet. There's still a whole process to this, okay? Now that you have your eyebrows on, you want to go ahead and grab the palette that you're going to be using to apply your shadows. First of all, what I did is I primed my lids with concealer. So if you don't have a primer and you want to use that, you can go ahead. I like using concealer just because it makes the colors a little more vibrant. So that's what I roll with. Also, do any of you guys have like stained brushes? I have this white wet and wild brush and as much as I've tried to wash this thing, it does not come out purple and pink. Like I use these two brushes specifically for purple and pink shadow because they cannot come off the brush. So I'm stuck with stained, per stained pink brushes and a stained purple brush. But anyways, so I'm gonna be dipping into Therapy Sesh that is right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and i'm just gonna pack this color on this brush so you see how and i didn't even do like a lot that was literally only like two to three taps uh, you see i didn't do it on two sides it's not on this side it's only on that side uh so what you do is after you tap into that color you kind of want to tap off the excess i know y'all saw that i forgot to set my eyes for the starter so after you apply your primer if you want to set it you don't have to this is what I feel like has the best outcome. And then as you can see, I'm actually applying a like a, a white shade. It's not translucent. This is more of like act an actual like true white shade. I really do like keeping this top part as, as light and as white as possible. We're gonna go into that purple shade and we're just gonna tap on the eyelid. I do love this palette. I've only had it for, I don't even 
know how long probably two weeks and i really 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 do love i mean look at that look at the payoff already and i'm not really like um smoking anything out yet or really blending anything i'm really just tapping and then kind of like um blending out the ends very little not going back and forth not you know not blending but really just tapping and kind of scooting the color where i want it to go i mean i don't know what's the right words to say i mean you know what i mean So it looks kind of crazy, but I did bring that color, um, not all the way up to my eyebrows, but pretty close to my eyebrows because I do actually have hooded eyes. So that means when I open them, sometimes like the shadow can disappear because the way my eyes are. So I do like to bring it a little higher. So even if I'm, my eyes are open and I'm talking to you guys, you can still kind of see what's going on and it's not so covered up. Then I'm gonna go into this pink shadow right here called Tipsy Girl, hello, okay? And it's a bright pink and really all I'm doing there is tapping the blending brush that I have a little bit on the end. Look how bright that is, y'all, oh my gosh. I'm going to grab this color right here and really start putting, start on the edge where um, that purple color is applied and I'm going to start blending it out starting right there. With some of the blending that we did with the pink, the purple kind of blends away too since you're going back and forth. So I'm gonna go back into that brush with the purple shade and kind of just redo these steps. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that we have those colors kind of blended out and blended together, I'm actually gonna go into Not My Journey, which is a purple shade a little bit darker than Therapy Sesh. I'm gonna go into that one and I'm gonna keep this color really low on the eye. I don't want to get rid of the purple that is already there on the eyelid. I kind of just wanna make it a little more smokier. So now that I have that purple shade laid right there on my lid, I'm gonna go in with, again, Tipsy Girl, the same color I've been, the same purple that I've originally used at the beginning. And I'm gonna kinda use that to blend the dark purple on my lid and the pink on top. So this is gonna be the good medium. Then what I'm gonna do is I have a highlight that is actually in this palette that has like a pink and purpley tone. So I'm gonna actually apply that on the brow bone and in the inner corners. Now 
Now that we pretty much finished the eyes for what we needed to for right now, we're gonna move on to the face and then come back to the eyes whenever we're done. Just because there's some things that we have to do, but if we don't lay our foundation right first, then it can get kind of messy. So the first product that we're gonna use, of course, is the um, the gel cream mask that I always talk about that I love. I put this on before I started my eyebrows. Again, like I said, I like doing that so the product can sink into my skin. So this is already ready to go. I am going to be applying the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer uh, on top of that just so I can get a little extra coverage. I'm going to be applying this product to my cheeks and my nose. A little bit on my forehead, a little bit on the cheek. And really, when you apply this, make sure that you're pressing the product into your skin so that way you can kind of fill out your pores so your foundation on top can be flawless. Okay? Okay. If y'all have not used this stuff, it is literally a miracle worker. Promise, keep it. No, but for real though, this stuff goes hard. So if you don't have it, get it. It's cheap. I think I only got it for a couple bucks. I don't even remember. It's e.l.f. though, you know? Then I'm going to go in with the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I used to use this on y'all when they came out back in the gap. Okay, and so for this summer, I really wanted to go back to my roots because I missed it and I really do actually love this foundation. I am in Classic Ivory, number 120. So if you have my skin tone or a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, at least you know I am 120. So hopefully that helps you. I'm going to dip into that with my Black Beauty Blender. So now that I did my foundation, I'm gonna hop into concealer. I'm using the LA Pro Conceal in Vanilla to highlight under my eyes. I'm also going to use the Maybelline New York Concealer, the Fit Me Concealer, also in vanilla as well, just to give me a little, because mm, I really do like this concealer. Also, when I do my concealer, I really do like blending out the end first. So like this side right here of the triangle, I guess you could say. I really like blending this out first so that way is there's a smooth transition between concealer and the rest of my foundation also to kind of keep more of the coverage close to my eye because eventually I mean obviously that's what we're trying to conceal is our under eyes so I do blend the outside first just to make sure there's a good transition between like I said that my concealer and my foundation and then also kind of keeping more of the coverage right there under my eye. Just a tip I use, you can use it if you want. I think I got that from Nikki Tutorials.
now that my concealer is laid i'm also going to go into the la girl pro conceal in the color chestnut and this is obviously way darker than me but i'm going to use this to bronze and do like a light contour i wouldn't say contour but mainly bronze for me Now that we have our contour and our highlight done, it still looks kind of raunchy, but don't worry, we're not done yet. Now I'm just going to set the highlight and contour in place with powder. The powder that I'm going to use to set my face this time is, of course, the Airspun Loose Face Powder, one of my favorites, all-time staple in my makeup kit. And again, the only place that I'm putting this powder is exactly where I highlighted earlier. So the reason I'm putting this powder in this area is because I want to keep this area light. So all that concealer and everything that we just did earlier is in for nothing. And then I'm gonna go with my butter bronzer. Again, I really don't like contouring. I'm not a super big fan of contouring, um, only like special occasions, but I am a fan of bronzing the skin and I am using the um, butter bronzer in the shade Sunkiss Bronzer. <laughs> And again, I'm just going to put this over the places where we just bronze with our um, cream earlier. I'm really just going to dust this, no certain pattern, certain placement. Then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, which is the brush you saw me blend out my contour around my lips and my nose earlier. And I'm going to dip into that butter bronzer as well. And again, I'm going to just kind of bronze in those same little places, my nose and my lips where I did earlier. I always want to blend my bronzer into my eyeshadow so it doesn't look patchy. Or um, again, we're trying to make this as natural as possible. I know it's kind of funny saying, but I'm going to start out by blending into the eyeshadow and then bring it down. While that's still baking, I'm going to go ahead and go into my blush and just put a little bit of that on the cheeks. 
in the Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I'm gonna use uh, this more pink shade and just put that on my cheeks and brush it to the back so it can blend in with that bronzer. And then you know me, I kind of like to bring it along the nose just so I can get that natural, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying natural, but to get that natural glow. Then with uh, my big brush, I'm gonna go in and just tap that powder into its place. Then, since we're kind of done with all the powders and liquids and all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and spray with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Before that dries, I'm going to go in with the I'm So Lit Wet n Wild uh, Loose Highlighting Powder. And literally, y'all, a little <laughs> goes a long way. Place. After I place it, I'm actually gonna go in with a smaller brush that looks exactly like this one, but this is a smaller form, obviously. And I'm gonna place it with this brush and blend it out with this brush. Also don't really like to bring my highlighter like all the way up here um, I again I like it to be as natural as possible so literally only the high points of my face where the Sun kind of touches the natural Sun touches is where I like the highlight to be so I don't bring it all the way up here I don't do my whole head I only do literally just a touch in each place so that way when the Sun hits when the light hits it pops then to set everything in place and to really melt all the powders together, I'm gonna spray again. Now that we're finished with our eyes, I can't get it together. Now that we're finished with our face, we're gonna go in and complete the rest of our eyeshadow. So I'm also gonna take, I thought about this last minute when I was getting, when I was doing my face makeup, so I really wanna incorporate it. Um, I'm gonna get just a, a small brush, a little detail brush, and I'm gonna go in with that dark purple and really kind of focus this on the out, on the outer corners of our eyes. Then with that brush we used earlier for therapy sesh, we're gonna go back in and blend it out. Now that we have that blended out, I'm gonna go back into the pink and blend those purples out a little bit more. So now that we have the top blended out, we're gonna start working on the bottom, which we could do now because we already placed our concealer and set it, so we're good to go. I'm gonna take another small brush, just like the one I mentioned earlier, and starting with the exact same color arrangement that we used on the top, we're gonna just bring it down to the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with Therapy Session, the light pink purple that I used at the beginning. I'm gonna use this one in the pink and go back and forth and really just smoke the bottom out more. No. Change that. I'm going to go in with Not My Journey, which is the darkest purple, and I'm going to blend that on the bottom lash line.
we put the purple on the bottom lash line and we kind of smoked it out so what i'm gonna do now is go in again with that highlighting shade that we put here that has like that purple tone we're gonna go back in and replace it on the inner corners and the brow bone just because we're doing a lot of blending and again powder is kind of got a little bit of dull and we want those to be especially the highlight we want that to be as bright as possible I feel a little more confident about the eye situation, so we're gonna move on to lashes and mascara. Close the door. Okay. The mascara I'm gonna be going in with is the Maybelline. So is every product we use today gonna be from Maybelline? Just a question. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Love this mascara. It pulls every single one of your eyelashes to the forefront and makes them look beautiful. So, love this mascara. To wing the liner or not to wing the liner? That's the real question. Now that my mascara is put on, I'm gonna be putting on the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. NYX, 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 whatever floats your boat. Put on liner, I didn't want to wing it out because I really do want the main focus to be on the eyes, not so much liner, and I really didn't want the liner killing my vibe, okay? So, now we're gonna go into lashes. Whatever kind of lashes you prefer. I prefer Ardell, because they are the queen of queens to me, and I love them, but whatever lashes you have, go ahead, throw them things on, and be bad, either way, okay? I'm done with the eyes as far as mascara, liner, everything else, but I still do want just a little more mm, of highlight in my inner corner, so that's what I'm gonna go and add. The Wet n Wild I'm So Lit highlighter that I used earlier for my face, I just, I'm spoiled, man. What can you say? I'm extra. I need just a little more. So I'm gonna give me, just, I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference between this eye and this eye. You can't tell me that there's just a little more. I don't have to say it. You just know. Also, I'm going to be more busca and put it on my eyebrow bone too as well. I mean, you know, what you do to the top, you do to the bottom. Don't they tell you that in math in elementary or whatever? Okay, anyways. Adding that to the inner corner. I'm gonna bring that in just a little bit. Just a little. God, it's just so good. Oh my gosh, look at that highlight, y'all. Shout out to One Wild. Shout outs. 
my dream one day is to be on Wet n Wild's PR list. You heard it first, okay? I'm speaking into existence. The last thing we have is our lips. I do um, still want to keep it neutral because we do have a lot of color going on and I do not want the center of attention to be on my lips. So we're going to go in with the Kat Von D Lovecraft uh, liquid lip. So you guys, that is all for today's tutorial. Again, I wanted to do um, something colorful for you guys. I just got inspired in the middle of it. And so I wanted to add just a little remix on there, um, make it a little more darker, a little more smokier, um, add a little more color. And I really do like the way it turned out. So my goal actually for the next couple of videos is to grab a couple of colors and really just doing a whole look surrounding one color. So this look would be like a purple pink color, maybe doing a red theme eye look, a green theme eye look, a blue theme eye look. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be fun. I've seen it trending uh, around YouTube. So I feel like I could jump into the mix as well. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, comment down below, let your girl know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and send it to your friends and your family. I hope this helps you guys. I don't know, it's just fun sitting and playing with makeup sometimes and you know, I hope that you guys are learning something and taking something away from these tutorials. So I can't wait to get back on here and play with some more color. Who knows? We don't know what color may be next. We will have to find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And again, we'll see you in the next video.